Well, it's that time of season. Wedding bells are ringing. Maybe not, depending on when you play this video. Or maybe you're proposing to your girlfriend. And I sure hope she said yes. Because if she didn't, that's all good, man. You got this to comfort you. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty, and check it out. This is from Enlighten. I did a couple other sets from them, and unfortunately, these are the only buildings that they make, including this one. I wish they had more. Man, come on, Enlighten. Their stuff is actually pretty okay, so if you're looking for a Lego alternative that you want to test first, these are affordable, they're cheap, and they're kind of fun. And people are actually buying like two or three of these and combining them together to make a huge building. Where are you guys, man? I need to see your stuff. Leave a comment down below so I can see what it looks like. Maybe I'll show them on the video. All right, so check it out. Look at this one. So this is Enlighten's wedding room. That's what they're calling it. One, one, two, nine, 632 pieces. First of all, look at the colors on the set. It's actually pretty cool. It's very pastel-like. It's not like, boom, in your face, I'm gonna blind you with ugly, nasty colors. It actually looks pretty cool. I like the look of it. And you know what? A couple of people actually bought this from us and have been giving them as wedding gifts. That's a pretty cool idea. Get the bride and groom addicted to building Legos or bricks, yeah? First thing I gotta say is, you know what? It's that thing again, man. It's just like cut in half. This illusion, dang you, Enlighten. Make this a full house, man. Just looking at this thing from the front, it's actually kind of different how they designed it from any other set, which is kind of cool. And look, it looks very like movie, like Hollywood. You know, you got the altar there and you got the house there. It's like Father of the Bride. You can shoot your own little short film in here. Maybe you can put this on a wedding cake. I actually really like the front of this house. I like the colors, the front porch there. I like the purple mixing with the pink and the white. I just thought that was really nice. It's not like crazy. And the corners here are really nice. I like how they did a little brick sticking out. And then you got the window. There's a little sticker on the window. It's okay. It's got a butterfly on there. Like I said, take the sticker off. Don't put it on yet. Make sure you like it like that. And I like the flowers growing on the wall. That's a really nice touch. They didn't make it so boring. Yeah, they didn't have to do that. It looks so pretty like that. And we start coming up here already to the rooftop. It's so small. But I like the little lights, how they did that. That's cool. It's very almost Christmassy. You know, again, you can probably take that off if you want it to minimize it a little bit. And above those lights, you got a little window here. You can actually move this little piece on the top there and open and close the window like that. You like that sound? Yeah. Yeah. And then you got this bright blue rooftop here, which is really nice. It's secure. I do like the design of the chimney, how they had space to actually put one in there. Yeah, check that out. Comes off really easy. I like how they did the little brick sticking out again. Makes it look really nice. Yeah. So on the side of the house, they did something really different. They attached this little plate here and made a little staircase coming down. This kind of breaks up the set a little bit. So, you know, whether or not that fits into your city, I'm not sure. You know, we're gonna see later how this will fit on 32 by 32 base plate. But anyway, it does protrude and stick out a little bit. Makes it a little different. I like this altar part, it's pretty cool. On the back of the altar, you have like stepping stones that goes into this little tree in the corner, a little pond, it's really small. It does look kind of nice, it's very simple. And then you got the altar right here with the pink toilet seat hanging on the top. Something I've always wanted in my wedding. The top of the altar, the detail is actually really nice. They have little flowers on the side, which is cool. And they got the little blue on the top that matches the house on the side. And you got a little bit of a tree there on the back. I'm not sure why they have that dangling down, but I guess you can put something else there, dangle it down and make it look more decorative. Maybe you should put some chains dangling down. Gold chains, no? Okay, I'm no wedding planner. Then you got a little pink walkway that comes up to the altar and then on the side, you got some flower pots. And my friends, that is it for the exterior part. You know, I really like it. And if you really wanted to, you could probably extend it out even more and or make it on a base plate and put like 30 people coming to this wedding. Yeah, it's a cool idea, simple. Now, let's look on the inside. It's so cut in half, man. I just wish it was fuller. Like it came out to here. Would've been pretty cool, man. But it's enlightened. What can we do, you guys? Email enlightened and be like, come on, guys, make these sets bigger. Come on. So you come in the front door and first thing you'll say is, yes, it's fully tiled. Second thing you'll say is, this is the ugliest color combination I have ever seen. It's so nasty. They made the outside so pretty, but you come inside and it's like, oh man, would you really wanna have like a reception in here? Look at the flooring on that. It looks like chocolate bars and orange, I don't know what they're trying to do. Kudos for you guys for tiling the floor, but man, did you make it look ugly. Why did you guys choose that color? Orange and brown, seriously? It looks so good on the front, man. All you had to do was just maybe keep it like the blue and white little tiles there and just made it all the way across. It's so small anyway. You got a kitchen there, the smallest kitchen. At least they have a kitchen, right? They have a pan there. They have two chairs, they have a printing of a fruit plate and two mugs, that is it. And then you come to the second floor. Is it modular? 
Is it modular? No, sorry guys, it's not modular. You want me to do a drop test on this too? Oh man, the flowers are gonna probably fall all over the place. Here, this high. One, two, three. Scares me because I gotta watch where all the pieces are flying. Only a flower flew off. That's not bad at all. Yeah, look at that. Nothing on the inside came out either. So the good thing is it stayed intact. The bad news is it could just be bigger. Then we come to the second floor, which is actually like an attic and just try to cram as much as they could in there. Maybe it's not even a room. Maybe it's just an office for the wedding. Man, the second floor is so small. How can they work with this space? But anyway, they put a bed there, sofa bed, the love making bed. I'm not sure why they would have it there. At least they're trying to use the space and the husband has to go use the computer right away to check his Facebook and upload more YouTube videos. Sound familiar to you? Next to that, you got a little table with some roses on it and a lamp. And next to that, it's just a computer screen. Something's loading on there. And it looks like documents are being hacked into for this wedding. So for the set, that is it. It is actually a really pretty set. It's just, I wish it was bigger. That's all. And you know, the tiles on the inside. Oh, it's bringing back bad memories already. It does, however, come with this little car right here and the minifigures. Let's check them out. So the car, car rolls just fine. Look at that. Yeah, this is a very pink looking Cadillac-ish kind of a car. The sticker on the front, uh, yeah, I guess they're trying to imply that this car is at the wedding. Again, don't put the sticker on. Just see if you like it without it. Very simple, doors do open and close. The back doesn't open at all. It just fits too many figures inside. And you got the dashboard there, and that is actually a tiled piece. Surprise, surprise, surprise. You know, it's a very simple car. You know what you could do is take the car apart and use the parts of the car to add more into the set, you know? So just think of this thing as a bonus. I don't know what you could add. Maybe a couple more chairs on the top or on the bottom. I don't know. That's for you to do, not me. All right, minifigure time. So we got five minifigures here. So what I'm gonna do this time for the minifigures is actually name them for my Instagram. So I've been commenting on there. I'm gonna take a couple names out and put you guys in here, all right? So here we go. But anyway, let's take a look at the first person here, which is probably the director of this wedding, the wedding planner, is it? He looks kind of sleazy, but he's got a moustache and Pinton looks actually pretty okay. Now, one thing about Enlighten is that the clutch on the bricks are really super tight. Man, I broke his leg, so this is not his original torso. This is what his original ones look like. I'm so sorry. But anyway, he looks just fine. Printing looks okay. Hair looks fine. And this is Andy from Bricks You May Want. Go check out his channel. He does a lot of cool comparisons. Cool guy. And he's directing this wedding. There you are. Let's move on to his assistant, I guess. This is the cameraman. Terrible hair. I'm really sorry. What's this Ringo hairstyle thing you got going on, man? Okay. I'm not sure why. But do you like rugby? Okay. And he's got this camera in his hand. That's pretty cool. I like the camera there. And the cameraman is CCMY Toys. There you go. Look at that hair. And here comes the bride. Dun, 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 dun. I actually like the dress. It looks grand. It looks nice on the front. There's no printing on the back, but the silver on the front is a nice touch. She's holding the bouquet of flowers. Oh, and I'm really sorry about the crown. Her crown should actually be more up. I've kind of broke the back there. Maybe she doesn't need a crown, but I like the hairstyle. On the back side, it's actually got like a ribbon there that's part of the actual plastic, so that's cool. And the bride is, you know what? I'm not gonna take any chances on this. Let's just call the bride Ida. That's my wife. There she is, the bouquet of flowers. Let me come to the groom. He actually looks pretty cool. I like that he's all in white. That's pretty neat. And I kind of like that touch of blue in there. It kind of goes with the set. Got a little goatee there, a little goat. And the printing on the front looks fine. I like his top hat for being pure white. It's really cool. He looks really happy that he's gonna get married. And the groom, of course, is me. Yeah, that's Scotty with his white top hat. And we come to the bridesmaid here. This must be the bridesmaid or the mother. Bridesmaid or mother? You guys tell me. She looks pretty. She got a little necklace on, wearing this purple dress, holding a ring and a cup. This is Vivi Lao One. There you are. Ring in your hand and a glass in the other of wine, beer, champagne. Ding, 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 ding. It's dimension times. Now, before I get into that, let me just explain that the plate here on this one and this part is actually bigger, it's thicker, right? If I was to get a Lego brick here, you can see the comparison in size. Yeah, it's a brick size, man. So you might wanna think about how you wanna set this up in your city, if you wanna put it on the base plate or not. And even this plate right here, it's a little bit thicker than this base plate here, but it is the same size as a standard brick piece like that, just so you know. All right, let's measure this sucker. Okay, with the 32 by 32, if I put it here, from here to here, it is 24 studs in length. 
and a smaller plate if I put this over here is 18 studs in length. So as a total, it is 42 studs in length, just so you can see. Yeah, it's not gonna fit on a plate, but you can probably take it off and readjust it if you wanted to. And if you're gonna put it on a regular base plate, it'll be a lot shorter, so it's gonna be more flat there. For the width, the altar is a little bit longer, so that is about 16 studs in width. And for the wedding house itself, for the plate, plate over here, that is 12 studs in width. So there you go. Now let's check the height. Do, 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 do. Here's my one by four bricks. And we're gonna slap the sucker right here. Look at that. Oh, it's just touching. And that is 22 bricks in height to the rooftop. You know, maybe minus one if you put it on a regular plate. But there's your height. All right, let's check the car. All right, so I put the car here on a 32 by 32 base plate, so maybe you guys can gauge it better than I can. But by the width here, from side to side, it is seven studs. And the length is 15 studs from front to back. So it's around there. And for the height, here's my hot bricks. Yeah, it's five bricks in height. Look, I can line it right there, and it's just perfect. Look at that. Yeah, I can lock that in. So there you guys go. That's Enlightened's wedding room. What do you think? Do you like it? Yes, no, it's available on BreakMeUpScotty.com. Go gift it to someone right now. Or keep it for yourself. I actually think it's pretty cool. Go buy three or four of them and mock them. Let me see your mocks. All right, you guys, time for the next review. Until next time, break me out. Hey, Janet. Yes, Brad. I've got something to say. Uh-huh. I really love the skillful way you beat the other girls to the bride's bouquet. Oh, Brad. The river was deep, but I swam it. Janet. The future is ours, so let's plan it. Janet. Here's the ring to prove that I'm no joker. Rocky Horror Picture fans. I gotta stop singing, man. I'll start singing in Time Warp. It'll be really insane in this office. I don't know what will happen. Once again, Big Scotty is not here. He is out of town on tour. Man, dear, when are we gonna continue our adventures? I don't know, but this is a real pretty set. Yeah, you're right. You might as well just take a look at it while we're here. Kind of feel weird holding a samurai sword. But hey, the bride and groom look really pretty. What do you think, dear? Yep, it kind of reminds me of the time you had a dream about us, remember? Yeah, please, please don't remind me of that dream. Man, I'll never forget that. Scotty, I'm thirsty. I see some water back there. I'll be right back. Water? This is disgusting. What is this? Talk about disgusting, man. The heck is this? Who picked out these colors? I feel like I'm in the 70s right now with this color scheme. What is going on? Well, at least I have some food over there. Dear, what are you doing there? I'm posing, Scotty. Like Cleopatra. Don't I look so beautiful on this thing? Uh, whatever you say, man. Uh, Scotty, what are we doing now? I don't know, man. These guys are just standing here. We might as well stand here, too. This is a pretty view, and the music is so soothing. I think I'm gonna fall asleep now. Yeah, me too, man. Maybe it's time to go? Yeah, all right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I promise you, Big Scotty will be back, and the Adventures of Dear and Scotty will resume shortly after this. Bye-bye now.